Anne Heche passed away on August 12th in a car accident. The actress was brain dead when she died, but was kept alive so that one legacy could decide if she were a match for organ donation. Her two sons are Heche's only heirs. Homer and Atlas were shared by her and her ex-husband, Coleman Coley Lafoon. Sadly, further news came that she didn't leave a will, and here's what we know about it. First off, Anne Heche didn't leave a will. It was revealed that Anne Heche didn't have a will less than a month after she passed away. Homer Lafoon asked to be named administrator of Anne's estate in court documents submitted on Wednesday. He also asked the court to appoint him as Atlas's guardian ad litem. He further demanded to waive the bond that would be required since Atlas is a minor. He stated that since the star's estate's estimated value is unknown, forensic accounting will be required. There will be a hearing to discuss the situation on October 11th. The Los Angeles County Medical Examiner Coroner determined that Heisha's death was accidental and listed sternal fracture, brought on by blunt trauma, as a contributing factor. Homer said in a statement that summarized his feelings about his mother's demise. He said that he and Atlas had lost their mother. He is left with a deep wordless sadness after six days of nearly unbelievable emotional ups and downs. He continued by expressing his hope that his mother is pain-free and starting to experience what he likes to think of as her eternal freedom. Thousands of friends, family members, and admirers reached out to him over those six days. He said he's appreciative of their support as well as that of his stepmother Alexi and father Coley, who continue to be his pillars of strength during this trying time. Moving on, let's talk about the tragic accident. And Heche spent 45 minutes trapped inside the burning Los Angeles house she crashed her Mini Cooper into. In response to the late actress's accident on August 5th in the Mar Vista neighborhood, the Los Angeles Fire Department responded with time-stamped audio files, which NBC4 published on Thursday. Deputy Chief Richard Fields told the outlet of the scene, given the heavy fire and smoke conditions, it wasn't that you could clearly see into the vehicle or clearly be able to access it. The recordings state that the LAFD arrived at the scene at 11.01 a.m. that day and discovered there was a person stuck inside the vehicle within seconds of their arrival. At 11.18 a.m., the firefighters thought there were no more victims, but at 11.25, Heche was discovered in her car, pushed up against the floorboard, and inaccessible. Fields said on Thursday that the person was in the passenger seat's floorboard rather than the driver's seat. According to the records, Heche was taken alive from her car at 11.49 and then assessed and loaded onto a gurney. Following up, the actress was apparently under the influence. After the Los Angeles Police Department obtained a warrant, they tested Heche's blood, and it was revealed a few days later that she had been using cocaine when the accident occurred. They will conduct additional testing to determine whether fentanyl was in Heche's system when she crashed, but law enforcement insiders issued a warning that it might have been given to her at the hospital to help manage her pain following the accident. According to TMZ, the 53-year-old actress was not intoxicated despite a picture taken just before the collision showing a red-capped bottle in her car's cup holder. Her condition was also described as dire by the outlet because she has not improved since being admitted to the hospital. The Six Days, Seven Night star suffered a severe anoxic brain injury and was not expected to survive, according to a statement made by her representative on August 11th following the accident. Let's look at what Heisha's ex-husband said after she passed. Her passing was tragic, and her friends and family gave statements after her demise. Her ex-husband took to Instagram and expressed his feelings. He just wanted to say a few things in the wake of Anne's passing, Coley wrote on Instagram. First of all, I will always love and miss her. Second, Homer is fine. He is grieving, of course, and it's difficult. It's really difficult, as most people can probably imagine. However, he is surrounded by family, and he's strong and will be okay. The real estate agent stated that he'd like to think Anne is free at this point, free from pain, enjoying or experiencing whatever's next in her journey, and that she had a lot to say. She was courageous, loved fiercely, and never shied away from telling us what she thought or what she stood for, and it was always love. Love was the central theme. Finally, the actress's son revealed the importance of her final resting place. The sons of Anne Heche are aware that their mother would have approved of the location where they chose to bury her remains after she perished in a fiery car accident. The decision by Homer Lafoon and his brother Atlas Tupper to bury Heche in the Hollywood Forever Cemetery was explained in a statement given on page 6. In the statement, it was stated that Homer and his brother Atlas want to thank Tyler, Noel, and all the amazing people at Hollywood Forever for their kindness, compassion, and generosity of spirit. He further said that their certain that their mother would adore the location they've chosen for her. It's lovely and serene, and she'll be with other celebrities from Hollywood. According to the statement, they chose Hollywood Forever primarily because it's a living place, where people attend movies, concerts, and other events. He further added that she was their mom, but the kindness and the outpouring of the past few days reminded them that she also belongs to her fans, to the entertainment industry, and now to the ages. Now for some other news. Coming up, here's what Kanye West has to say about Pete Davidson. Kanye West appeared to accuse Kim Kardashian of enraging her estranged husband by using her ex-boyfriend Pete Davidson. Hello North, I'm Skeet, look at my tattoos, the 44-year-old rapper wrote on Saturday, September 3rd on Instagram, seemingly copying the former Saturday Night Live performer. Kanye called Pete a pawn and said that he was sent there to rile
rile him up in the hopes that he'll commit a crime so that Kim can remove him from his kids' lives. Davidson, 28, has tattoos honoring each of his children, including Saint, according to West, who also pointed out the comedian's body art. The initials KNSCP, which were initially found on the Staten Island native's neck, were widely assumed to stand for Kim and those of her and West's children, North, Saint, Chicago, and Psalm. According to US Weekly, West's combative social media posts throughout his relationship with Kardashian were a major factor in motivating Davidson to seek trauma therapy after their split in August. In February 2021, nearly seven years after she requested a divorce from West, the reality star started dating the Bodies 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 star. Although their divorce is still pending, they were both formally declared single in March. Next up, Dave Grohl breaks down during Taylor Hawkins' tribute. At the Taylor Hawkins' tribute concert on Saturday, Dave Grohl broke down while performing Times Like These with the other Foo Fighter members. The 53-year-old Grammy winner attempted to sing, but his voice broke on the last two words. Grohl took a brief break to wipe away his tears, shook his head against the microphone, and gathered himself before starting to sing again. The Hawkins-created drum solo was performed by Josh Freese after his passing in March. During songs by the Foo Fighters, several drummers filled in for the late performer. Shane Hawkins, the 16-year-old son of Hawkins, was behind the drum kit for My Hero, while Travis Barker played during Monkey Wrench and The Pretender, while 12-year-old viral sensation Nandy Bushnell joined the group for Learn to Fly. Rufus Taylor was playing the drums for These Days. 50-year-old Taylor passed away on March 25th. The singer experienced chest pain just before he passed away, which led ambulances to dispatch him to the hotel. Lastly, Will Smith says he's been followed by these animals. Will Smith is starting to appear frequently in animal encounters. The King Richard star received some unusual bird visitors while traveling in South America. He stated in a video uploaded to Instagram on September 3rd that, we're just sitting here in the spot in Ecuador, and this is the kind of stuff that happens. Only a peacock was in the window. Will records the curious bird peering into his window from above before it is joined by a companion in the video. Just a few weeks prior, Will Smith and his son Trey Smith shared a video of themselves battling a huge spider. The pair noticed that a tarantula was only a few feet away from them in the Instagram video. Will seen saying what the hell and being shocked at the size of the spider in the video. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think the court will let Homer be his little brother's guardian? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.